Hello and welcome back to another video. So it's been a while since my last scrapbook video. I will say before I get started that as always everything is linked in the description box below including this scrapbook, including my label maker, everything. If you're short on some scrapbook supplies then click the links in the description and fill your boots. Before each scrapbook session I spend, well it took me about an hour actually to go through all of my photos and put them into albums. Because I've got this thing where I basically take too many photos it takes me quite a while. So I've got the topics of the things that I want to scrapbook today. So I'm hoping to do a page, a double spread on Leiden, the Isle of Wight, Brighton and Canterbury. I live in Brighton but I've never actually done a page on Brighton before, I'd only done my holidays and stuff. So my plan is to start with the Leiden photos. Of course it wouldn't be a holiday spread without a map. I've also got my train ticket to the airport and I've got lots of photos. So Leiden is basically a city right next to Amsterdam in the Netherlands and they're known for having poetry across the walls. So I tried to see as many poems as I could, take photos of them and then what I was going to do was do something similar to my Poitiers page in France. So I was going to try and do something similar to this where I basically highlight on the map where the poem is and like go across it like this. but. I'm not sure if my favourite photos are actually the poem ones or if they're just general ones like us eating sushi and just us in the lift and eating food. So I think I'm going to scrap that idea. But this photo is something that I made on an app called Story Art and I basically just collated all of like these photos together. I thought the orange and the teal looked quite nice. I'm going to print this out from my computer on photo printing paper and then it will kind of look like, you know when you print out photos from a photo booth? That was the look that I'm going for here. Also, what I think I might do so that I don't waste the rest of this paper is print out some of the photos to look like Polaroids on this Word document as well. I've left a link to my Polaroid document that I use all the time in the description box as well. What you have to do is just download it and edit it offline um, and then you can just print it out on photo printing paper and it should be the right dimensions to a normal Polaroid. Also, I would highly recommend that you invest in some big big heavy duty scissors like these ones. I used to have the little cute stationary ones but you know what, when you're cutting up this many photos you want to just do one snip and have a nice straight line. With the small scissors this would honestly take you a lifetime to do. So what I've done is I've ripped off this little piece of card and I did my card trick where I rip off the back so it's not too thick because if you look at this book I have used that trick had I not this book would definitely be double the size so yeah just a little reminder whenever you have card please do rip off the back otherwise it will just be a pain to stick. I've done a loose rip because I kind of want this um, like natural rip down it to make it look kind of used. If you can see on the map this canal kind of goes through the whole of Leiden. What I would like to do is kind of use that to be like to connect the two pages if that makes sense. Now annoyingly I didn't pick up a postcard while I was here because none suited my fancy which means it might be a little bit harder to do an area of writing so I'm just trying to work out where writing would look nice. Uh... Now, this is why you keep the paper that you rip off so I can write on there. Now, I'm going to be using my trusty craft man to do this, so hold your breath. I don't want to kill myself by using too much of this I'm going to be using my little sticker corners not my photo corners but it's basically just double-sided tape that has been pre-folded for you um, so it's really quick and easy to use I also bought these photo corners from Neon Chic for 250 which is really good. There are 500 in here. So I have just peeled off this photo corner here and what you do is you kind of bend it in the middle, it opens up and you can slit it around your corner. This side is all sticky. It's so, so cool. If you wanted to take a photo out of your scrapbook, it means that you don't have to pull it off and potentially rip the back of it. And then I can just put it back in. 
That's so good. The page would never be complete without some stickers. If you ever visit Leiden, one thing you will probably notice is that they love cats there. So that is why I am gonna stick these little cat stickers around this page because then it's just like you're walking the streets of Leiden. like to do is a page on the Isle of Wight. I decided to print out the photos on photo printing paper not only because I'm running quite low on my film but also because as I've got the time I might as well cut them out and um, save myself some money. <laughs> now this trip was actually quite a while ago but I don't know why I just never thought to turn it into a scrapbook page but I have so many lovely memories from going to the island and it's also such a picturesque island because the photos that I've printed off are quite warm it works quite nicely with the brown paper underneath so I did try it with some like background papers and green plants and some like bluey chairs but I think it actually just looks nicer like this. I know it's quite simple, but I feel like it works. Also, one of you guys suggested that I made a Pinterest board of all of the pages that I've created to hopefully give you some inspiration. I actually thought that was genius. So I have taken photos of all of my pages. So if you wanna go check that out, I will leave my Pinterest in the description box below. Because I'm really bad at, I don't know, I just seem to always skip pages by accident. So I've got loads of like, double page spreads throughout, um, but this is the only one, as it's the back of the book, that has one page. So I thought, you know what, I'm not going to waste a double page spread. So that's why I put this as my last page of my scrapbook. Now, if I was going to go really NYC on this, I would stick some flowers. I'm contemplating whether that's going to ruin it and make it too messy. No, I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm going to stop at three stickers because I know me. If I don't stop now, this page will just be covered by the end of it. So, there you go. Fill the hole. So for this page, I'm kind of combining real Polaroids and then my fake ones, but I'm trying to do it in a way that doesn't make the fake ones look boring because they're on white, whereas my printer had this cool funky film in it. I think it's the marble film that it had in it. Also, when you're importing these photos, make sure that you wrap text and put them square. That way you can move them and then they won't disturb the um, images and the, the shapes below them. Also, zoom in as far as you can to see if you can see any blue lines around the photos. So I got these Scrabble pieces from the works. I am aware this isn't how you spell Brighton, um, but I don't have an H or a T, which is a bit annoying. So what I'm going to do is pretend that they were the blank ones um, and change that into a T with a black pen. I've only got a biro at this moment in time, so let's see. Something else that I used to collect when I was younger was postcards because I used to send them out to pen pals. And I have these kind of old fashioned ones and this was the last one that I kept because I just love them so much. They're reproduced from chromo lithographs. Maybe I could incorporate it onto this page somehow. What I'm gonna do with this envelope is I'm gonna stick this part of the envelope down, flip it like that so I can flip it up. I know I speak about this a lot, but I just thought I'd remind you guys that I chose this purple sticker because of the colour theme. So this um, has like purple hints to it. This one has blue hints to the background. This is like a warm toned one, would kind of work, but it's nice to kind of enhance the background colours to stick to your themes. I also recently bought this stamp set from Tiger because I've been seeing them on Amazon and stuff like that. And if you don't have good handwriting, then getting things like stamps and the label maker, they will honestly save you so much stress. Another thing if your handwriting isn't the best is to maybe look into getting stencils. So not like the kiddie ones, but the cursive ones. So any spare space, empty space that you have like this or this, this is the perfect time to use your washi tape. Oh my God, and we've got red ink as well. <gasps> this is cool. 
and then hopefully this kind of goes with the theme of these um, but what's great is that I can use them infinite amount of time and I've seen loads of people use these kind of stamp sets for invitations and birthday cards being like happy birthday just on some brown card with these simple stamps and it looks very effective so I feel like this was a great purchase the only problem is that these are quite big letters they're not as small and petite as the ones on Amazon um, so if you wanted to write longer words on your Polaroids or your titles you wouldn't be able to. My plans for this page in Brighton is just to kind of like list some of my favourite memories and my favourite things to do in summer. I am really happy with how my Brighton page has turned out. I could potentially stick this extra photo underneath here. You know what, I'm going to do that. Isle of Wight page, we have our Brighton page, oh. and our Leiden page. 